Hello, children of God. Today, we are going to see Herod's action. Now, the shepherds went home, the wise men, the Maggies, they went home, and who was still waiting there for them? Herod! Poor man, isn't it? He was waiting, waiting, waiting. But the Maggie did not return to him. And so, how do you think Herod would feel? He knew he was outwitted by this Maggie. And then he became very furious. You know, when you have been waiting, waiting for your mom to get something for you or your dad to get something for you, and if they didn't give you, how would you feel? You feel angry, isn't it? You want to do something nasty. And that was what Herod did. You know what? He gave orders for all, to kill all the boys, the males below two years, born in Bethlehem and in the vicinity. You see, that was the action. He gave orders for all the children, I mean the males only, to be killed. Now, he's saying this is actually a prophecy of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31, 15, what does it say? A voice is heard in Rama, weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and <clears throat> refusing to be comforted because they are no more. So you have read about this where people are crying and wailing. Definitely, isn't it? A child, a small baby is killed in your house. How do you feel, isn't it? That is why there is, we see the prophet Jeremiah had already foretold that this will happen. People will be crying and mourning. So we see another prophecy being fulfilled. And later, we know Joseph was scared to stay in Bethlehem. Why? Because already Herod had issued this degree and all the children were being killed. But an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to go move out of Bethlehem. And Joseph took Mary and the baby and they went to Egypt. But they couldn't stay in Egypt long. By now, Herod had died, but his son took over. So from Egypt, they went, they moved out of Egypt and went to Nazareth. And that is why the, what the prophets said about Jesus, he will be called a Nazarene. Yes, and he grew up in Nazareth. Now, let's wait for the next session to see what is the future of Jesus Christ and his ministry. Alright, so bye everyone.